nobody knows what this free agent class is going to look like as far as the kind of money that they're going to get, the type of years that they're going to get. Uh, and, and if I'm Marcus Stroman, I know I, I just I didn't play in 2020 and and he opted out for, you know, very valid reasons. Nothing against that. But to me, I'm thinking, OK, you know, I just I didn't play in 2020. I'm going off my 2019 year, which was very good uh, year before that 18. Not so good year before that. Pretty good year before that. Not so good. Look, it's been up and down. It's been a mixed bag. Uh, I'm thinking, you know what? I take my guaranteed basically 19 million. Uh, I, I pocket that. I play my butt off this year. And then I see if I can come out in the following year in a different climate. Maybe when people and things have started to settle down, maybe we understand where the economic structure of this game is headed and where it's going to be. And then maybe I can get uh, a nice deal. He's still young enough. That's my opinion, and that's what I would do if I was Marcus. Well, let's welcome Jim and Sal to the show. And, Jim, to Anthony's point, by all accounts, this is going to be a unique offseason given the, the shortened season during the pandemic. Should Stroman accept this for that reason? You know what? I think he should, too. I agree with Anthony. I'll tell you the reason why. There, there's a couple of things. First off, he didn't pitch this year, which we don't know what the effect will be on him and interest level. Shouldn't It shouldn't affect a ton, but I think it will affect some teams. Uh, also, when we have a, a draft pick attached to you, there aren't many other starting pitchers besides Bauer uh, that has it. Uh, obviously, Gosman as well. I think Gosman's going to accept it. And so, if you're sitting there and you're one of two guys that have a, a draft pick attached to you, I think teams are going to be more inclined to not pursue you because there are so many other options. And so, I think that factors into this as well. So, for me, uh, you know, and, and he's young enough, as Anthony mentioned, that if he gets a one-year deal, 18.9 is a considerable uh, raise. Uh, if he did this for one year and then went back out, I think he would do uh, better next year. Would this be a very good thing for the Mets were he to accept it? I don't know if I would say very good. I don't think it would be a bad thing. Look, I'm torn on Stroman, okay, because I like his confidence. I like his attitude at times and his swagger, a local guy. The problem is I don't like his performance. He needs to be better. He talks better than what he's shown. So on a one-year deal, which is expensive, but money should not be the significant issue for the Mets this year. So on a one-year deal, yeah, why not? I mean, they need arms. He's a, a proven guy, at least to a certain extent. You're not going to pencil as a number two and rely on him to be maybe what he did in Toronto and be an ace type pitcher to back up to Grom, but he could fill out that rotation and maybe you get the best of Marcus Stroman because he is pitching for that long term contract. So it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm just disappointed that we haven't seen the best that Stroman has to offer through, you know, a season and a half here.